Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video and I'm sorry about that. I had a very busy schedule this these past few months and I really wanted to make these videos for you. Uh, but we're back on track right now. And soon we're going to be doing that Microsoft Lumia 950XL unboxing. And I've been looking forward to doing that very uh, for a long time now, but now we've got the time, we're of course going to do that. So, uh, let's get straight into the video's point. So, uh, this video is all about how to delete the Windows Update Service. Now, this has been a question for a very long time by a lot of people. How do I just get rid of the update service? So, that is a very weird thing, how Microsoft just removes the option to just disable updates. There are guides out there that show you how to disable updates, but there are no guides how to just stop them permanently from ever coming back unless you choose it. So if you are one of those people that wants to stay in an old version of Windows 10 like me, that I am on Windows 10 17 or 9, and Microsoft has been bugging me, over and over again to update to the latest version and Windows 11, for the matter of fact that I hate. I will talk about that in another video if you're wondering uh, why I hate Windows 11. Uh, so, let's get straight into the video. So, there are a couple of ways you can do that. And I'm going to show you the simplest way. So, and it is 100% working. I've done it myself and I've lived with it for a couple of months now, and it seems pretty good. So all you need to do is just go to your search bar down at the bottom of your search icon, if you have hidden it, and just search for registry editor. Just type reg in it. I've got it over here. You just open it up and it'll ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You'll click yes. And it'll open up with this window. Now in this window, you want to go to HK local machine system uh, current control set services. In here, you want to find three services. I'll show you which three. So I've already got those services backed up because I've already deleted them from the entire system. Because I tried to make this video before, but I realized that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so yes, uh, you, I've made this folder over here. And here are the names of the services for the latest version of Windows 10 22H2. USO SVC, WAAS Medic SVC, and WUAUSERV. These are the three services you want to delete. This is the Windows Update Services, this is the Windows Update Medic Service, and this is the Windows update orchestrator service. All of these services will, if deleted, will make sure that the update service never comes back. Uh, now, in older versions of Windows 10, like mine in 1709, there are different service names, like the update felicitation service, which will have different names to them on the registry. Now, I can't show this right now because I am, don't have an active Windows 10 1709 uh, virtual machine, but I can show you what the latest version is for now. Uh, and soon there will also be a video on how to bring back the old Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge legacy on the latest version of Windows 10 because there is no one making videos like that anymore. Uh, and how t and there's also going to be a showcase of a project that I've been wanting to show for a very long time, but it wasn't ready yet. Of course, there will be a link to that in the description on GitHub to find out yourselves. Uh, but yes, you have to delete these. These are basically keys. These are folders like these ones. You basically right click on them before you delete them. You click on export. Then you select desktop. And you just type the exact same name that you see there of the registry key. And then you just save it and it'll be on your desktop. And then you can just right click and delete. After you delete it, it'll ask you if you are sure about that. And we are sure because these are not going to cause any damage to the system, 
but only going to remove the update service to ensure that it doesn't annoy us. Uh, and then, of course, using these backups that we're doing right now uh, is going to help us bring it back. Now, after you've done all of this and you have deleted these three and you have backed them up, simply put them in a folder, call it whatever you want, and put it in a location that you are sure you're not going to touch. In my case, the Windows folder, because I know I'm not going to touch the Windows folder. I'm not down to touch that Windows folder. After you restart your computer, though, you will notice in the uh, settings page, if you go in here and you click on update and security, you'll see something went wrong. Try to reopen settings later. It'll basically no longer work. On older versions of Windows 10, it will just crash the app. You can use WinAir Tweaker to just remove the page from the list and just make sure that it doesn't crash again because this page is useless anyway. When you want to bring it back, you just simply run those backups that you have made and it'll run again. Now, there is one catch that you can't install apps from the Microsoft Store. You have to install them manually using an AppX file. You can look for guides on the internet for that, or I'm going to make another video in the future. You can wait for that so that you can see how to do that. But for now, I think I've covered everything you need to know on how to delete this update service. As you can see on my Windows 10 right now, if I click on here and I've got updated security, I've deleted it because I've used WinAir Tweaker to just get rid of the whole page. It would just crash if I didn't. But yes, it doesn't really matter because right now you just delete the update service and you stopped it from bugging you all the time for updating and updating. Now, I don't encourage staying on older versions of Windows 10 unless you have a very high purpose. One, because you can't install the latest versions of Microsoft Store apps, which means that you'll be outdated on those. They will stop working or will be dangerous to use, not really dangerous but it will be a target two you will be able you will be more vulnerable to ransomware unless you have a very good antivirus like i do which i have paid for kaspersky over here which is one of the best antivirus protections uh and three uh this version of windows 10 is no longer receiving security updates or even uh, Win32 app updates for most cases. So if you want to use this version, you have to be really hardcore in terms of how you're going to use it. Uh, in my opinion, it's not that hard because I've been using it for over a year now. Not over a year, like two months, three months, maybe more. Not over a year, I've over-exaggerated it. But yes, it's not that hard if you think about it, but you have to try a lot to make sure that it's all, all good. It's not that simple, you see. Oh, and about the Microsoft Edge Legacy video, it has been hard to find a way to bring back the good old Microsoft Edge Legacy to Windows 10, uh, the latest version, but there is in fact a way uh, it is a little tricky, but there is a way, and I'm going to show it to you probably next video, be or not in the next video, because next video I want to be doing that Microsoft Lumia 950 XL unboxing. And again, don't forget to look on the description of the video for the project I'm talking about on GitHub. Okay, so anyways, I guess... This is the end of this video. I think I've covered everything you need to know about how to get rid of Microsoft's bugging because we own our computers, not them. They don't. They shouldn't have control over our computers. We should. So now that I think I've covered everything, I think we should end this video for today, and I'll see you next time. So bye, everyone.